Hey everybody, the Bong is here ready to give you a brand new Let's Play! Crash Bandicoot The Huge Adventure for the Game Boy Advance, and this is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, this is going to be my third ever Crash Bandicoot Let's Play. I did Crashes 1 and 2 for the PlayStation... Oh, I gotta read the story. On a mysterious space station orbiting high above the Earth. Cortex, remind me why I keep you around. You have failed me one too many times. Okay, at least I can control the pace of the story. But anyways, I did Crashes 1 and 2 recently, and I haven't done Crash 3 yet. Will I? Possibly. But right now, I just want to do a GBA game with the Crash series. Uka Uka, forgive me. I've been wasting all these years trying to vanquish the brainless bandicoot. He is of no importance to us. We want to take over the world. I've heard it all before, little scientist. What is so different this time? Trust me, Uka. I have a little plan to bring Earth's puny inhabitants down to size. So yeah, basically Cortex has a plan to make the Earth and all its inhabitants smaller and him appear much larger than he really is. At last, my planetary minimizer is complete! Earthlings will bow to my superior intellect! <laughs> I make it small, look at all the rings around it! Finally, after all these years of abuse, the tables have turned! Who's the little guy now? I, Neocortex, am your ruler. You will look up to me! Ha ha ha! I have finally won! Now nothing can stop me! Not even that little bandicoot! Crush, Coco, the world needs your help. Cortex has shrunk our planet to the size of a grapefruit! We must stop him! It looks as if Cortex is using the crystals to power his shrinking machine! Crash, if you can find the proper crystals from around the world, I think I can build a device to reverse the effects. What have I got? Good luck, Crash. You must find the crystals so we can put an end to Cortex's evil scheme. Okay. So anyways, you can just press start to load and save anytime you want. You have five levels to choose from to start off. Well, this is only the first hub. As you defeat levels and the boss of that world, you can move on to another hub. Very similar to Crash 2, and I believe Crash 3 as well. I haven't played through all of Crash 3, but I got it on my PS3 to play on my spare time. But in any case, let's do Jungle Jam. Which, I'm pretty sure is just mostly, like, jungle fruits and bug droppings to spread all over toast. But in any case, let's just move on. Of course, you know how to get gems in the Crash series. Destroy every single box you see throughout a stage. Luckily, if you press select, you can take a look at your stats. And as far as these wooden boxes go, instead of getting one Wumpa Fruit at a time, you're gonna get like five at once. Therefore, you need five bounces to destroy them. Of course, if you hold R, you can duck and then probably do a slide or a crawl. And if you jump while ducking, you can jump a little bit higher, press R while you're in the air to do a body slam, which you can use to destroy boxes. Of course, 100 Wumpa Fruit will give you an extra life. But then again, if you've been watching my Crash Bandicoot LPs 1 and 2, you would already know that. But, you know, obviously I haven't done Crash 3 yet, but I will someday, just not today. We'll have to wait. So yeah, that's a perfect bonus stage. If you were to miss some boxes in a bonus stage and die in the bonus stage, you can do the bonus stage over. I don't think it will cost you one of your lives. So it gives you a good opportunity to rectify whatever mistake you made. Of course, you get the Aku Aku Mask. Three of them will give you invincibility. Of course, if you get hit, the Aku Aku will lose one level. Level 1 is basically that color, level 2 is yellow and gold, and the third one you'll be invincible for a few seconds. Obviously that's the one you want. 
I don't even know why I hit the fast forward button, but at least I wasn't in any danger. Remember that box in the pile that you saw that basically just changes from question mark to nothing to crash his face? Well, if you wait too long, it'll become a steel box and you can't break it, which will cost you your gem, pretty much. Also, whenever you finish a stage, you have a chance to do a time trial for a Sapphire Ankh. You get it faster and faster to get the Sapphire Ankh, you can go for the golden one and then the platinum one. But if you go super fast for this one, you can get the platinum one right away. To get the full score of the game, which I believe is 100% or higher, maybe 101%, not 100% sure on this one, or 101% sure on this one. You have to try to get at least gold for every level. I'm gonna do the time trials later. I'd rather focus on the crystals and the gems first, take on the final boss, and then go for the time trials if need be. Anyways, let's do Shipwrecked. If you played like Crash Bandicoot 3, you would know there are some water levels and swimming levels to deal with. Remember B to spin, and keep tabbing A to move faster. So these are very simple stages. They don't have bonuses. Which explain why you need a low amount of boxes compared to other stages that usually have a bonus. Here, of course, you have no bonuses, therefore no extra boxes to go after. Just remember to spin into the enemies if they're a nuisance. Except for those like balloon fish or whatever they're called when they puff up the spikes, maybe they're called porcupine fish. Just wait for them to deflate and then you can spin right into them. Also, the mines tend to home in on you in a semi extent. And the eels, of course, you can spin into. If you don't want to, you can always try to dodge them. That's entirely your choice. So yeah, sharks are made out of bubbles. Crash Bandicoot proved that theory. Next on Mythbusters, Crash Bandicoot Edition. I don't know, if there actually was a video game edition of Mythbusters, who would be the host, really? You think Luigi be one of the guys? Cause I mean, he does have a bushy mustache. I forget the names of the people in Mythbusters. I mean, I don't watch it as much as, say, Avalfan NF or Cole NL112 do. Or some other Let's Players, but... I know of the show. I just probably wouldn't choose to watch it on my own time. I'd probably watch something else. Like the Food Network, because apparently, you know, I'm a guy that loves to eat, and apparently I like to watch food that I likely never will be able to make. It's like, oh, that creme brulee looks so delicious. Too bad I only know how to make cheese on a bun. Well, not really. I know how to make plenty of stuff. I made a pretty good chicken sauce. Basically, it's just chicken and rib barbecue sauce, Dijon mustard, vinegar, hot sauce, salt and pepper, and paprika. Probably next time I make it, I won't put any salt into it because some of the stuff in it is already quite salty. Like the hot sauce and probably the Dijon mustard. So anyways, I try to experiment now and then when it comes to cooking. I mean, I've gotten some pretty good rave reviews for it. Usually when I post a picture of stuff on Twitter or Facebook, I tend to get a lot of compliments on it. Which goes to show I do a decent job at cooking. I'm just not at a high level of culinary skill yet. But in due time, whenever I have the motivation to do so. But for now, I'm just gonna stick to like boiling pasta and noodles most of the time. Oh yeah, of course I'll get a tomato sauce. But that's a story for another time. So I got two lives here on this bonus stage, which is great. I gotta try not to botch it, because I don't want to go through all this again. There we go. So far, this is going really well. Okay, so I got level 2 Aku Aku. Great. Try to go for the high boxes first, and then you can work your way to the low ones, just in case you cannot get up there ever again. Of course, if you screw up, obviously, try to die in a bonus stage, and then come back. Also, you can go to a warp room anytime you want to leave. And then just do the level over, or go to a different one if this one is getting you stuck. But the one thing I like about this Crash Bandicoot game compared to others is at least it's side-scrolling. I mean, this is the GBA, so technology is kind of limited. 
However, I do like the fact that it's side-scrolling and you only need to worry about left or right lateral movements. You know, just in case you don't feel comfortable doing like the 3D jumping. Well, 3D environment jumping. Which can throw you off from time to time. I know I've had my issues with that at first. When I was a bit of a crash noob. But right now, I mean, I've obviously honed my skills after quite a bit of experience. Alright, invincibility! I don't think that works for me, actually. Wait, maybe this is not the stage where I can actually get all the boxes. Uh, I think I can. I botched it because of the invincibility. I mean, I can't get up there. So basically what I have to do is kill myself. Let me look for a pit. Or at least some spikes. I uh, won't be able to find them here. That was the last checkpoint I activated. Okay, so I gotta try not to activate a checkpoint. Actually, I think I can find spikes easily down here. It's gonna cost me my Aku Aku, but... If I want to get the gem, I have to go this route. And that disappoints me. But, you know, it is what it is. Norton, stop doing your background tasks! Look, I don't want any of your bullcrap today. If I wasn't invincible, I could have gotten that. Oh well. So let's try to explore this path first. Actually, it might be a good idea to just trigger the checkpoint in case I botch it. Yeah, that's better. I knew I should have put Norn on silent mode. Okay, I think it's gone. Okay, this is a very treacherous path to take. I mean, there's a lot of spikes. Okay, so if I had the red gem, I would come here. But obviously, I do not have it, therefore, I have to go back. But that's okay, I just gotta remember to come back here if I get the red gem could be on a certain level. But at least the game hub will tell you. Which is obviously very nice, because I'd like to be in the know if I need to find a colored gem or not. Well, obviously I do, I just need to know where. Okay, there's the crystal. Remember, you need to pick up the crystal, otherwise you don't finish the stage. Boxes and gems are not required for finishing the stage, it's the crystals. Ah, another extra life. There is one thing about this game is that you won't have a very intense shortage of lives unless you're really, really bad at this game. There's gonna be plenty of ways for you to get lives. I wouldn't say it's at a Mario level, but pretty close. It's like I only finished three levels and I'm already at 19 lives, and I died once. And that was because of a suicide. So yeah, one gem I will not be able to get because I need the red one. But for now, let's just do Frostbite Cavern. This is a bit of an homage to Crash Bandicoot 2, and now we gotta deal with penguins, which spin around after a couple seconds. And it looks like they're wearing some kind of... Jewish hat or something. I forget the names, because obviously I'm not Jewish, but anyways, here's Invincibility, Norton! You already did some background tasks, and I botched it. That had nothing to do with Norm. That was because of my own skill. Or lack thereof. You know, I'll take responsibility for that. Just be careful. Oh, Norton, do you have to do more background tasks? Can you at least tell me what those tasks are? You know, just for me to believe that you're not trying to be a dick? In any case, now we gotta get to the next part. Which is being on a polar bear. You gotta hold B to move faster. And of course, you cannot hurt the penguins. They can hurt you, though. Get away from me, polar bear! But at least you can, that polar bear can smash some of the boxes for you. Can you smash this one, please? Thank you. This one, too? Perfect. That one I had to smash myself. Hope I didn't miss any. Smash the nitro. Thank you. Uh, penguins! Come on, you're a polar bear! Can you at least hurt the penguins? Thank you! 
Invincibility! Okay, now I can hurt the penguins. And I can just power run it. None of these barriers can hurt me now. But it wears off automatically because I finished the polar bear segment. So another Aku Aku will give me more invincibility. Is this good? Yeah, it's pretty good. At least I don't have to bounce on any boxes. I missed on one fruit, but that's okay. So that's t two times that I shortchanged my own invincibility. But again, I'm just trying to make some progress. Perfect. Let's keep going. Oh, I got nothing out of that box. But I just wanted the box to be breakable. That's all I cared about. I'll take that, thank you. Okay, I don't want to hit that exclamation point yet. Three, four, five. Good. Because if I hit the exclamation point right there, then that other box would be inaccessible. That was nice. I got 22 boxes and an extra life out of that. Uh, I'm going to use the sliding jump just in case. There, just one more box I'm missing. Oh, there it is. I get another gem. So far, I'm having a very good streak. I like that. Just in slime. Okay. It gives me another extra life because of all the Wumpa fruit. At least I won't have to worry about Bandicoot Scurvy. Unless these Wumpa fruits have zero vitamin C in them, which would be very, very strange. But I would imagine they taste sour. But anyways, I don't really know the exact specifics about Wumpa Fruit, but let's just go. Uh, yeah, I think I can hit this now. Yeah. Okay, I only got like nine boxes. Three, four, five. Good. Whoa! Ah, I got lucky there. I get an extra life. I can take that. Hope I didn't botch it. Nah, I think it's fine. Let's go. Okay, good. I avoided disaster. Uh, is this worth it? Did I screw it up? Oh god, yes I did. I needed that, but oh well. Let's try this again. This time we don't screw up. Just gotta remember to do pretty much everything I did exactly the same with some minor differences. Like right at the end. Nothing too bad. I think there was another Crash Bandicoot GBA game as well. I forget its name, but I might eventually do that as well if I play it, and if I like it. If I don't like it, obviously I'm not going to do it. But if I do like it, then, well, it's a possibility. Just that I already got, like, a huge backlog as is. So you might have to wait. Let's do this. Okay, I saw some TNTs over there. Okay, and these are the last three. Perfect. Let's do it that way. Watch him explode. Perfect. I got three lives out of that. That's awesome. Okay, now I can actually continue the level. Because, you know, I still got to do one. Good thing that the slug actually functions as an attack as well. I think after this stage, I might either do the boss, or do one of the time trials. I think I'm just gonna, like, try to make that decision in my head. And I can't really see why you guys would comment to say, like, Oh, do this, do this, or do that, do that. Because by the time you make that decision, I've already done it. Get it? There we go. So now I gotta hit a nitro detonator. 
hit it, I gotta go back. Thank you. I might look at those. Well, just one. One's all I need. Oh, that cost me one one up. Should just hit that box first and then go back to the detonator. So there were some boxes I couldn't reach, but now I can. At least I can still get that extra life. Some of these levels are actually an homage to Crash Bandicoot 2 as well. Like the ice caves and of course this one. Even the music is similar. Like back in the jungle area. Yeah, get out of there. There's a lot of boxes I have to destroy. Uh oh. Uh, I'm not gonna make it! I'm not gonna make it! I didn't make it! Oh, I botched it. This is unacceptable! I have to kill myself! To atone for my sins! Okay, don't destroy that checkpoint. Find another enemy that can kill me. Thank you. Sorry, I mean, I had to do that. I strive for perfection when it comes to getting the gems. It's time to do it like this. It's just too bad you can't dash. Well, actually you can, but you don't unlock that ability until later. For now, you pretty much have to rely on regular movements. Which can be a total pain in the arse, but oh well. Let's just keep going. I'm gonna have to try my best not to botch what happened earlier. Yeah, I had to take a risk, but it was worth it. Or at least now I didn't make that same mistake. Now I can hit the checkpoint. With no shame whatsoever. I don't understand the point of these metal boxes, because what I'm standing on here is not harmful. Two. Three. Four. That's all of them. Ah, come on, Crash. Get it together. Perfect, and that's another gym. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna stop the video here, and in the next episode, we're gonna take on Dingo Dial. I think when it came to the time trial or the boss, I'm gonna do neither. Save it for part two. See ya.